<laughs> yeah, the broom challenge. Come on, Russian, catch it. Gravity. Yeah, the mad bus we are built. See it there? See it there? See it there? Broom See it there? Fasten your seat belts and prepare for an awesome experience. Showcasing the best of Jamaica's automotive culture. Eight seven six streets, repping for Jamaican Sigus rides. Yes, how you guys doing? For all who know me, you know I'm Shane, a resident here in Montego Bay. And right now I'm here with 876 Street. And I just want to introduce you guys to one of my newest business, a passion of mine, chasing dreams, luxury limousine, party bus. And for all who don't know me, you know, if you ever come to Montego Bay, you know, always as a street youth, you understand? Grow up in Barna Raisin, St. Elizabeth, you know, high school, everything. Moved to Montego Bay about 11 years ago. Had a dream, you know, just a youth from nothing basically, you know, who realized from a very young age that poverty is a state of mind. You understand? And for all of the youths them out there that have dreams and have a passion for do it, brother, I'm just here as a reality to tell you, do it, because it's yours to accomplish, you understand? Let me just give you guys a little bit of insight about this beautiful machine right here. Um, well, it's a 96 Hino. You know, I bought it uh, probably over a year now. You know, the whole, the, the color, the whole concept of this whole, whole business was just, you know, a dream of mine over five years ago that I wanted to accomplish. And I just, uh, you know, get into it because, you know, on the inside, we have all quality, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, the name Chasing Dreams actually come from somewhere that's deep. You know, I just didn't want to give it a name that was corny. I wanted to make sure that wherever my people in Jamaica can see this bus, if it's floating down the highway, if it's stopping traffic, anywhere, when you see the name Chasing Dreams, I just don't want you guys to see a party bus, all right? And be like, whoa, I want the name to actually inspire you as well. You understand? So that's where that came from, man. And Chasing Dreams is just personal to me because, as I said, you know, it's a dream, we're gonna accomplish it. You understand? And, and this is it right here, the colors, that I chose for this bus, you know, I love green, I love black, but actually if you guys see this color right now, it's actually black. When the sun or any light hits it, it actually changes literally over 12 different colors, all right? There's, that, there's a pearl in this bus that's called tuxedo, all right? So any light, anything hits this, <laughs> it magnifies, <laughs> yeah man. There was nobody that came in, there was nothing like, this whole bus was completely designed by me all right i had the, the design in my head and i executed it i gathered my team together so when you when you come on this bus or you view the videos or you see the pictures everything down to the whole boat of everything on this bus was designed and constructed by me and my team that i said came together pitching the ideas and we had an amazing time doing it. It was a blast. And yes, so yeah, man. As I say, I, I'm not gonna take our credit as well, even though you know what I mean, but my team. My team. Um, <laughs> what inspired this bill? I'ma I'm gonna get right to it. I've always been into entertainment. You know, anybody that know me know me as a party man. Most of my friends them know me. Where we go, a little bit of a brothers as well, but it's all in good faith, it's all in good fun. But this came from about five to six years ago when I was in the States. And I was with my ex back then, I was married. And one New Year's Eve, she decided, hey, 
we're gonna spend this on a, um, on a party bus. We're gonna do New Year's on a party bus. And I was like, what the hell was a party bus, right? So I remember when the bus pulled up and I put step into it, man. I say, wow. And immediately, the only thought that could come to mind was Jamaica need to experience this because see I tell people all the time see when you come on to chasing dreams you're just not coming onto a party bus man it's an experience all right and it's something that I wanted to do from square one from then but you know I knew it was going to take a whole heap of work and it was going to take a whole heap more money but it, it was all worth it You know, and so that's where it came from. Like me seeing one and going on one for the first time, I know that Jamaica is the party capital of the world because we, we love to have fun. You understand? Party to us is a culture in itself. So that's where that came from. <laughs> this project, to be honest with you, was completed um, in July of this year 2020 but we started the project in october of 2019. when i started this project when the bus was bought and gathering the whole team to be honest with you nobody actually know <laughs> what we're going to build we just tell everybody say hey we have a build a party bus you know but nobody actually jamaica never experienced that before the guys have never built so when i started getting the team like engineer and um, the electricians and the plumbers and the upholstery, the body man, everybody, the whole concept of the bill, every, what I loved about it was within a few weeks, everybody just started sharing my own passion as well. You know, everybody started getting a grasp for the idea and started a feel for it and start pitching in and give them own ideas, how this can work or how that can work. You know, everybody started going my research with the party buses and we all came together as a team and it took 10 months to build, but it took 10 months off Sunday to Sunday, every day, because the concept and the design was all in here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know what I wanted. And you know, I'm gonna take this time out to send a big, big, big shout out to the most amazing team that helped me with this project. Call a few names, Shireen. You guys might hear me talk about my engineer a lot. They say Shireen, all the lights, all the zoning, everything electronics, Shireen is in charge of that. Dwayne, my driver. Hello, <laughs> number one driver. All of the body man them that work with me on this team, everybody. You know, Darren, Giza. It's my real good friend, not just the DJ. He's the resident DJ of Chasing Dreams. Love him. Yeah, man. The reason why I chose a coach is because bigger is always better. He said, the man I said, I represent the Chasing Dreams party bus, the bad party bus, is it? I wanted um, a bus that could, if it was going to be the first one, I wanted to be able to have, can hold a good capacity amount of people. You understand? Um, the design that I had in my head from two bars to two strip poles, this is where I have all the fun at to how many TV screens and lights and everything you want after you put all that in there you want to have a good capacity amount of people still come in and enjoy yourself and the biggest bus you could find is a coach not to say they can't be smaller ones in the in the near future because that's where chasing dreams is heading you know what I mean the future is bright even though I'm sitting here my team is right there and they're looking at me right now. And to be honest with you, I'm going to pour it out right here. Start this a project. I remember at least three times I broke down crying. Because come COVID, and you know, it's, it's a part of the entertainment sector. You know what I mean? And when you're building a project like this, you, just, you, you might have a budget that you think you're going to go in. But trust me, you don't know what you're into. You know what I'm saying? But was it hard? Extremely hard. I'm talking about nights where I was up till 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, researching lights that can work, the best sound to go inside it because I wanted quality, the, the, the materials, the build. You know, you have to wake up throughout the day and you, you still have to work with a team and each person, them, them but yo, it was a, it was hard, but it was all worth it. 
The most challenging part, I would have to say, was the flooring. Like when, when, I, when, I, when we bought the bus um, and get ready to gut the bus, you know, it was me getting into the business for the first time. And you know, a little bit over my head, a little bit naive at first. Didn't check certain things that I was supposed to check. And the bus ended up needing more body work than I needed. And if you follow the page and you see some of the before and after pictures, because I wanted to lower the flooring, because I want, I'm 6'5". So I want, when I'm in there, I can be able to stand up as well and party. So the whole structure of gutting the bus and lowering the flooring and everything like that, I know everything was gonna go, that was the most challenging part for me. When I bought this bus, no AC don't work. And the, the, <laughs> one of the specs I'm gonna get into is that this bus is being run off three AC unit, but actually units that was built for house. All right, so it has two 24,000 BTU AC unit built in. In these side boxes that you see right here is where the condensers them are. And it also has a 12,000 BTU AC. So it cold, <laughs> it cold. That was, yo, figuring out how the conversion gonna work, that was, that was pretty amazing. I'm not gonna call it challenging, but it was pretty amazing. Um, and the, on the inside, the flooring, is laminate flooring. I wanted to make sure that it has that clean look. Um, it's all genuine leather. You know, um, big shout out to Blake Upholstery. Amazing. It has two strip poles, you know, uh, four TVs. There's a 55 inch in there, two 32 inches in there uh, on, the, on the inside. Uh, it has two bars. There's a champagne bar, a regular bar. Uh, what else am I missing? Just, you know, it's a full DJ booth. There's a DJ booth in there as well. There's a bathroom, a full bathroom. Actually, two people can actually go in there as well. You understand? That was fully customized. There's a 35 gallon water tank on there. You understand what I'm saying? Because so, we have two sinks, you know, one for the bathroom, one for the bar. You know, we have a water pump in there as well, silent. You know what I mean? So the sinks, them don't rely on gravity, all right? It's fully forced, fully pressured. Yeah, and you know, when, I, when we finish, you know, like it's all brand new tires, all right? Everything was completely replaced on this bus. You understand? So this bus was no cut, no corners, all right? Everything on this bus costs a whole heap of money because quality is always better. And also, um, I have a beast in here as well. It's a 15,000 watt generator producing over 22,500 surge watt pushing my AC units them as well. I have a monitor screen, a TV screen in the back window, back glass of the bus. So if you're driving behind Chasing Dreams going down the highway, just be careful not to run into it, please. All right, it's my promo screen. You know, while you're driving, you know, outside the bus, you can watch the screen. As I said, it's amazing, guys, all right? It, it, it's an amazing bit. You have to experience it to believe it. All right, guys, so this is my baby, and I wanted to make sure that it was big and bowl right at the top of the front, as you can see, Chasing Dreams, Luxury Limousine, Party Bus. And this is a key factor I want to show you guys as well. You see this? This was very important to me as well. because I want everybody to know that this bus is, is Juta, all right? So it's actually licensed under the tourist board as well. You know what I mean? So that's very important because I knew from, a, you know, from the get-go that um, most of my business was actually gonna come from tourists traveling to this island as well, all right? So I wanted to make sure that they were covered. So this bus is not just private, it's Juta as well. You know, this is my baby. Walk with me right here, you know? Right in here, you have one of the condenser for one of the, um, the AC them as well, one of the 24,000 BTU. Um, in this area right here is where all the batteries are. My 15,000 watt generator is in here as well. This is where another condenser is as well, guys. This is where my 24, uh, my 12,000 actually BTU AC condenser is. I love my color, my green. <laughs> Everywhere. Emergency exit door, you know, in case of a fire or anything, this is the emergency exit door. My Juta Tours MC as well. And this is my social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, and WhatsApp as well. This is my baby right here. This is um, a 32 inch TV screen that is um, projecting outside when you're driving behind the bus. You'll see that. 
No. Yes. Yeah, man, ready to go inside. Right here, uh, let me get you get him first. That's my driver, <laughs> the captain, Dewey. Yeah, man, we'll <laughs> yeah, take it inside. I feel him here already, so no? <laughs> yeah, man, we'll take you on the inside. Yeah, man, come on. We're gonna take you on the inside right now. Main bar. This is the main bar right here. Sings everything. You know, right here is my DJ station. Yeah, man. First triple. This is where all the fun. This is a prop, all right? This is where I have all the fun at. My seating, my flooring. You know, all, everything, all these lights, every equipment in here was imported. Everything was bought in the States, imported to Jamaica. You know, if you're looking on each side, it's playing 10 mid, all right? So you got five mid speakers, eight inches on this side. You have another five on this side. This is my 12,000 BTU AC unit that was converted in here. As you can see, we have all charging ports on each side all the way down. We have charging ports on all side all the way down as well. Yeah, man. So if you're standing up, you feel a little bit of rockling, these handlebars are not monkey bars, all right, guys? They're just to hold on to, you know, so you don't fall, which that never really, really happens. But, yeah, so these are it for your comfort as well. Come on down here. These are my babies as well. As you can see, I'm playing three 12 kicker bass on this side. I'm playing another three on this side as well. Second strip pole. My favorite thing about this bus is my baby right here, 55 inch. Yeah. And this also is the VIP area, all right? So if you're in this section, you're probably the primary. You know, say you're probably the birthday girl or the birthday boy. You know, we got a champagne bucket over here as well. This is our champagne bar. You know, this is our champagne bar as well. Yeah, so this is like our VIP area. You know, yeah, man, I'm just going to open up the door and send you behind here as well. Yeah, that's my bathroom. So, yeah. Take you back up front. There's a view from the front. Giza, juggle something for my friend. I don't know why I juggle something for them. Play it out. And guys, even though I almost forgot, all right, when you come on this bus, Wi-Fi yellow or white is Wi-Fi portable, all right, guys. So you'll be good for your whether you're going live, whether you're going to snap, whatever you're going to do. We got Wi-Fi on board. So, chasing dreams is it's primarily um, does private booking. Whether it's your bachelor party, your bachelorette party, birthday party, wedding reception, sweet sixteen, corporate event, no matter what it is, guys, you know. It can happen here. It can too loud. I'm this universe. I'm not going right me. And we're on every social media platform. Twitter, you know, you can WhatsApp. That's one of, you know, seems to be a lot of people's favorite. WhatsApp, you know, you get almost an immediate response. Um, you can go directly to our website, www.chasingdreamsja.com. This bus can see 
30 to 35 if we could. But with the COVID-19 guidelines, we're sticking to 25 people as of now. When you book the package, you have a DJ, you have a bartender. Um, my boss never leaves without my engineer because there's way too many sound and too many lighting or a driver. So on a typical end, um, the bus will come with four staff um, with a capacity of um, 25 people, you know, and yeah, it, it's a good time. With bookings, guys, it's rented hourly um, at a minimum of uh, four hours. You know, anything after the four hours, you can get down to a 30% discount off the hour. You know, once you rent it, um, the bus, it, it doesn't stop, guys. All right, a lot of people always ask me this question. I need to elaborate on it. Once you book this bus, it, it's not a, it, it doesn't park up, all right? You have it for four hours, it's gonna be driving. It's gonna be on the road. It could be on the way to Ocho Rios and back. It could be on the way to Negril and back. It doesn't matter. For that four specific hours that you have it for, it is driving, it's stable, you, you party, you drink, and you're comfortable. You also get an all-inclusive bar. You know, once you're coming on, bo on board, you get a complimentary, um, a complimentary shot. Um, you drink, you party. Also as well, we have premium bottles on sale. So for all the Hennessy drinkers, all the Grey Ghost Ciroc, we have the, prime, um, the premium bottles. But as I said, you get a base bar of all, you know, your local rum, local vodka, everything like that. So you'll be good. I want to take this time out right now to send a big, big shout out to two specific ladies when this bus started to build. I, I'm not going to mention one of them name, but I got to send a big shout out to, to Shannon. To Shannon. Cause that, that was a big support for me. You know, every, when I needed somebody to talk to, she was there to help me with the bill. She was there with everything. As I said, the other person, I'm not gonna call her name, but she know who she is. So big, big shout out to, they like my partners, all right? Yeah, man, so big shout out to them. Chasing dreams for me, where I see it within the next six to 10 years is the Caribbean. If you come to the Caribbean and you hear about luxury limousine party buses or limousine the first thought that should come to mind is chasing dreams because you know you know every time a bus are roll out and i see it on the road it's just a blessing, Kenya. As I'm saying, when you come from home to belongings and you, you can believe in a something and you can make it come true, you can accomplish no matter what anybody wants to tell you, the negativity, you just use that into positive. One of the greatest blessings, you know? And that is a prime example of why people should never give up in a life because there's a saying that Jamaicans always say, if a man never did, never call him dumb. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, all the Jamaican youths them out there, all of the ghetto youths them out there, I want him to tell my brother. Never, ever stop believing who you are. Because once you do that, you say we as black men, and we are the masters of our own feeling. You understand what I'm saying? And if you can't believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything. And that's my that's my message to you. Bless up. Yeah, man. Go. On. Blessing up a flow like a river. Blessing up a flow like a river. Blessing up a flow like a river. Massacre them know say we are leader. Shot at them ready for press and chiga. Blessing up a flow like a river. On them back and we tell them and I believe. Blessings are follow me now. People are on me now. Did I be turning to me? Could I keep the battery low? Blessings are showing me now. And I wanted you guys know what you know. When this bus was finished, after everybody said, you sure it's not going to work? Two weeks after the bus was finished, my first booking was Madonna. All right. The hold on, Madonna. hold on, hold on. Hold on, you mean when Madonna came there that yeah, day? four months ago in August, when she was here in August. She was on this bus? Yes, absolutely. This is the bus that brought her from Trial to Golden Eye and Bob. All right? Mad. Yes, <laughs> mad, mad, yes. mad, mad, mad. Mic check, one, two www.chasingdreamsja.com Yeah. So www.chasing... W, yeah, three of them. <laughs> yeah, man, so... Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. The geezer there. The girl and pleaser. <laughs> See, I look a shot one day.
Wicked engineer. Uh, the man. Yeah, man, there, man. I'm on with that, man. Yeah. Bobby is city. <laughs> All right, man. You see this? Phone me I did for party. New business in new year. You understand? Which is right. Thank you for watching another video production of 876 Streets. Subscribing to our channel definitely means a lot to us. Thanks for your continuous support.